Welcome back to the shooting channel and today we are going to do a film on what is skeet. So I'm on an English skeet out here at Austin shooting grounds up in the north of England in Nottinghamshire and we're going to explain what is skeet and why is skeet so good to to learn to shoot on or go on once you've had your first shooting lessons at your shooting school. Same as DTL which is one I did before. Um, so a ski, English skeet lau is you have a low house and a high house and you have seven stations in a semicircle round. You start off on the high house and then you walk round to the low house. You shoot 25 targets split through the seven stations. You have 24 around the seven stations and then you have an optional extra, which is your first target you miss, you repeat that target, which will be that extra. If you go all the way around and shoot 25 straight, then you have your 25th bird at the end. English skeet, you can do uh, Eng England, you can get into the England team with it, you can get into county teams with it. It's a discipline like DTL, ABT, um, English skeet, is the easier option before you get to the Olympic ski one. So let's go and shoot it and we'll talk about it as we go round. Again, my recommendation on an English skeet now is to shoot 24 grams. On the Olympic skeet and Olympic trap, you have to shoot 24 grams, but on everything on an English skeet now, you may as well practice with 24 grams, same as DTL, because you have to when you go into the big stuff. So Fiocchi, thanks to Fiocchi for supplying the Rosson um, top of the range car 24 gram cartridge to, to, to do this film. So we'll see how they perform as well. So we've come on to station one on the English skeet out here at Austin. You have a middle peg. Now every target goes over that middle peg, which is right smack bang in the middle. We have high house, we have low house, and then we will shoot a pair afterwards. On an English skeet layout, if you're shooting with a squad, you get to see the person in front of you, but you only get to see the first target as a, as a practice target. You only get to see the first target on peg one. So, Paul. Now low house, pull. Now the pair. Pull. Now we're moving to peg two. So we have high house, low house singles to start with high house single and again don't forget that everything will go over that middle peg pull so that is the first one i missed so now i repeat that target because that is the first one pull pull now low house Pull. And now I have a pair. So I have low house, uh, high house and low house. Pull. And now we move to peg three. Don't forget that the gun has to be empty as you move on. On here, you only have two targets. You have a high house and you have a low house. Pull. Pull. No. So now we're on the middle peg of the skeet lout and we go back to having 
High house, low house, then a pair. Pull. 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 Now on peg five, again on here, you have high house, low house. Pull. 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 Now on this peg, the pair is, has to be shot the other way around. So it has to be shot low house, then high house. And that's for safety, just in case bits of clays come and hit you. Pull. 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 Oh, I missed a bloody easy one. Pull. 21 out of 25. And that is your round of English skeet. The good thing about English skeet is it's very simple targets most people will walk on if even if you haven't shot a lot and be able to shoot 15 16 straight away because once you've had your lesson at your shooting school 90 percent of the targets on here is something that you will always come on so an english skeet now is a good practice for you to go and shoot sporting or anything like that